Hey guys, what's up? Going at you with a Castle Crashers tier list. First up, we got Poppin' Corn. Now, I think this dude's a pretty cool guy. I like the aesthetic. And I also like how his uh, little gimmick you have, little villagers come help you fight against the Torn Tyrant. Yeah, I, I'm definitely putting that in an S tier. It's definitely a good one. Next up, we got Dead Brother Dude. Uh, I'd say that's more of a C tier, you know, he's cool. Uh, it's kind of cool that he has a little uh, thing where he has to fight for his dead brother. It's cool. Next up, we got guys, resurrected dead brother dude. Uh, I like how he uses his dead brother as a weapon. You know, that's that bumps him up, but definitely an A tier. Next up, we got Painter. I like how his uh, little gimmick is he makes little doodles that you have to fight. It's definitely an A tier. Not as cool as Popping Corn, but it's but it's up there. Next up, we got the volcano. Uh, you know, I, I think that's uh, uh, not the greatest one, to be honest with you. I'd say that's probably D tier. Uh, we got the... What? Is that the bear boss? No, that's that's E tier. It's barely even a boss. Okay. We got the little uh, battering ram thing. Changes. I wouldn't so much even call this a boss. It's more of a... Well, actually, it technically is a boss. But it's the very one first one you can encounter, I suppose. I'd say it's a C tier. It's simple, but it does its job. Next up, we got Big Guy. Oh, first boss you ever face. Well, first real boss. You know, definitely a cool one, I'd say, A tier. Next up, we got Bat. I'm gonna say B for Bat. It's kind of funny how he poops everywhere, but uh, beyond that, he's not really got much going on. We got Ice King, which, uh, this dude always creeped me out, okay? I... I'll, I'll say it's a C tier because I don't really like the design. I get that he's a cool character though. Next up, we got the uh, forest monster thing. I'd say that's probably a B. He's pretty cool. Oh, uh, next up we got the uh, big, big forest monster thing, and that's an S plus tier. You know, it's really cool how you to ride like a, on a deer and run away from him, and how he directly leads into the next segment with the uh, cat thing. Which I also think is S plus tier. They're basically like a continuation of each other. I think that's really cool. Next up, we got the uh, Fire Puppet thing. Now, I'd say that's definitely an A tier. It's kind of cool how there's like two hands, one on the other side, like the saw kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Definitely an A tier. Next up, we got the Dead Guy. Uh, you know, I'd say that's probably a B. Ah, no, C. He's just... He's just there to serve as his brother's, uh... Just serve for backstory, really. Next up, we got Medusa. Uh, it's a cool mechanic, I guess. Uh, not really an interesting character. B tier, I suppose. Next up, we got the final boss, Evil Wizard Man. Uh, I'd say that's probably a... B tier. I can't rank it any lower, but I don't really like the final boss guy. Aliens. Okay. I'm gonna say this is a C tier. Actually, no, B tier. I like aliens. Uh, this is the, uh... The, uh, tech guy thing. I'll say it's an A tier. It's a unique gimmick. Next up, we got the, uh... Forest Mon the big forest monster's uh, carriage chase, which, uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't like him that much the second time. Like, once was enough. Next up, we got Wing Dude. Uh, I'll say that's an A tier. He's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, that was the tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a Hog Cranka 727. Remember to crank your hogs for Jesus. I love you. God loves you. Have a good night. Been a long time, never thought this would be.